The question that asked, you know, what does freedom or abolition, I think it was, look like or sound like? And I was interested into knowing what it felt like because we were also in the time of COVID and everybody was locked in their spaces. And um, so there wasn't a lot of movement outside. So I was curious, but as my practice as a Thrive practitioner with, uh, with an embodied somatic framework, I was really curious about this lockdown and this pent up energy that's been in the body. So I started thinking about that in terms too of like liberation and freedom. Imagine all those layers I spoke about in the compacting of it in the body. So this idea of this somatic liberation or the somatic abolitionist dance wave was like, could you imagine how quick and and uh, essential a wave would be to like, everybody get to dance that crap out? I thought, wow, what would that feel like? And so that's what sparked this curiosity that wanted to create this movement project, performance art movement, whatever the title is. The music, the playlist that was created, this way was designed to tap into some of those pieces um, because we had not just the COVID, but we had the George Floyd Black Lives Matter pieces so i was curious I, I didn't realize it until actually the manifestation of the dance and the filming that i was tapping into something deeper around that impact as well in terms of black lives bodies covid all that i opened the circle real intentionally with blessings some of schematic rituals uh, from different elements like from ifa from the work that I had done recently in Costa Rica with the ayahuasca and yahe ceremonies. So I was really holding the space in a very sacred way with cleansings and blessings and water and altar and, and things like these elements to really hold the integrity of the space. Um, and then we did smudgings of everybody included. And that too, I think, just allows nervous systems to be like, Oh, it's permission. I can be full here, and this space will hold me. The feedbacks, the affirmations of the participants in the space who shared things like one male body identified said, well, there was this one song that was a real indigenous song that. It had like this, I felt my warrior energy coming out. And I felt like I could dance in this space and bring in that warring element without feeling like my body was going to uh, make somebody else's body afraid or something along those lines. Like that power, like I could be a black male in this space and like be in my warrior and it won't be intimidating or scaring somebody. woman described and she's very emotional about she felt she saw the ancestors dancing with us and then she saw her mother she her mother passed from years but she the presence of her mother was very much in dance with her and I was just blown away by hearing that um, there were other uh, pieces where somebody became really emotional there was a particular wave with Ursula Ruckert that talks about the ancestors and uh, 
and she was calling out the names of all these different peoples. It was so emotionally intense for one person that she had to remove herself from the the the, the group for a moment, and then I was cued in, checked in, and they were just like so overwhelmed. And they they reported like after the dance in circle, like having someone to bring them back into space to like check on them and just be like, hey, we're here, no no big like probing. They felt they could come back and renegotiate and titrate. So that was another example too of how this somatic liberation dance way giving people information permission to titrate in and out. Lorraine Hansberry, Pablo Neruda, Zora Neale Hurston, Ferdinand Paseo, Carter G. Woodson, Alan Locke, Tony Cade. A lot of energy. At one point, people felt like they had to catch up or perform, and then they realized I don't have to. I could take pauses. I could, and that's so significant for Black bodies in particular, who are always overriding the need to push, perform, do all that so that came out of the way again blown away by these um, questions when we ask like what did liberation what did abolitionists mean in your body in this way Actors on stage and film, pioneers, Paul Robeson, expatriates, Josephine Baker, Red Fox, Oscar Michaud, Bruce Lee, Ozzy Davis, Freddie Prinze, Dorothy Dandridge. Pioneers, pioneers, pioneers. Firestarters, Bessie Coleman, Felix Schomburg, Toussaint Louverture, Marcus Garvey, Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, Hugh 